Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston with our Blooming Catholic Light. Welcome to our second look at um, St. Francis, St. Francis' prayer before the crucifix. Doing too many things at once, friends. Multitasking. Oh, welcome to our second look at the Gospel of Matthew, verses 6 and 7. Just grabbing my prayers here. We're going to go ahead and pray St. Francis' prayer, prayer before the crucifix. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Sume glorioso Deus, illumina tenebras cordis mehi, et da mihi fidem rectum spem certin et caritatem perfectum. Domini ut facium tuum sanctum et verax mandatum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Oops. Remember, I'm going to read this three times, pausing slightly in between each time. You can feel free to actually hit the pause button and um, journal whatever, however you journal. Um, meditate on it for a while. And when you're ready to hear the verse read again, go ahead and hit the play button. Stay tuned at the end. I'll try and share some insights that I may, <laughs> hopefully, I get. Um, if not, I'll, we'll just do a closing prayer and I'll let you go. But about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing, and he said to them, Why stand you here all the day idle? They say to him, Because no man hath hired us. He said to them, Go you also into my vineyard. But about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing, and he said to them, why stand you here all the day idle? They said to him, Because no man hath hired us. He said to them, Go you also into my vineyard. But what about the eleventh hour? Sorry, but about the eleventh hour? He went out and found others standing, and he said to them, why stand you here all the day idle? And they said to him, Because no man hath hired us. He said to them, Go you also into my vineyard. Um, something that really just stood out to me, if you don't want to hear my reflections, friends, go ahead and stop the video. Um, but what was really jumping out at me today was the word vineyard. Jesus has so many parables about the good shepherd and being a shepherd. Um, this one was not shepherds is a metaphor for the leader, the pastor of a parish, right? And this is about the vineyard. And he's looking for workers in the vineyard. What is a vineyard? A vineyard is a fruitful place. Sorry. It is a place where weeds must be taken out. There is watering. There is pruning. Again, I really need a trip to a vineyard to really talk to someone there for all the care and what all they do at a vineyard. Um, but there's a place where there's a lot of work going in to making fruit. And it's, it's a vineyard. It's not saying for grapes, just for eating the grapes. They're going to be making wine. And why was wine and then like in, in early American days, cider, why were they so important? A lot of times the water was polluted. And this still happens in many countries today where watering holes are places where wild animals as well as people with livestock go to have the livestock fed. There's also then, um, wherever you have a lot of animals hanging out, there's going to be a lot of animal poo. Um, and even in here in America, we have a reservoir just down the road from me that was originally meant to be a water reservoir for drinking water for the city. But what happened was, um, after they, there was a town there, it was literally a town and, and they flooded it. They bought the land, bought out all, the whole town is gone. And they flooded it for drinking water. But the woods grew up around it and it became a great place of recreation. So they were looking at it to utilize it for drinking water at some point, and it's not good anymore. Um, because of the, especially the, the high amount of beavers, especially, the water is not good. In fact, there's signs around the reservoir saying not to get it on your skin and you should hose off if you get the water on yourself. Um, and, and I know many stories about that that I, I will not share here. 
But and and I can't guarantee that sign is still there, but it was there for many years that I went. I don't really go anymore. It kind of makes me sad. Um, people fought so hard to make it a place of recreation, and they gave up managing the wildlife to keep the water healthy. Um, and so they've just let them have at it, and <laughs> whatever. So it, many times where there is water and it's fresh water and it's got fresh sources coming in and yet it's still polluted you can't drink from it um so besides <laughs> rusty's making faces at us besides the livestock going the wild animals using it you also have people people are going and they may wash their clothes in it some people bathe in it do you really want to drink that water afterwards no so how do you get pure water well the ways to get pure water are then to collect you have to either have water purification system you have to get a rainwater collection system and then you have to store it and make sure it's keeping fresh so you know wine and cider are things that are ways that people purify the water and that's the reason um people here weren't sure when they moved to america the pioneers came they really weren't sure about any new water source and so cider was a big way especially you hear about in the new england area that they actually drank cider it was a very important job um to go get fresh cider every day because that was a way that you knew that you had safe drinking water <laughs> water it wasn't water it was wine or cider so it was something yeah slightly alcoholic right and that is what he needed so jesus is saying go out into my vineyard perhaps the waters had gotten stagnant the waters of the old testament right the faith of the people had gotten a little stagnant it gotten a little polluted and he needs workers in the vineyard because he wants to give the people sustenance. He wants to give them that purity back. He wants to give them something that they can drink and be enriched by. And so that's my meditation today. We're workers in the vineyard. We're out there. The world is polluted. We know that, friends. And so are we out there helping to give the people that purified water, the living water that is Jesus Christ, our Lord? Are we helping with that? We're co-workers. We're workers in the vineyard. I think that's a document either by the USCCB or it's a document um, here uh, in Baltimore. It's about, I think it's called something like workers in the vineyard. I'll try and look that up for you. So vineyard. That's just my word of the day that's kind of stuck in my head. What are your words of the day? What are your meditations? Feel free to put them below. Vineyard. I'm writing, making sure... I didn't bring my journal out, so I'm writing it down on a little note paper about the vineyard. Okay. Blessing of Brother Leo. Oops. Nomini Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Benedicat tibi Domius et Custodiat te. Ostendet Domius Facium sum tibi et Miserator tui. Convertet Domius Voltum sum ad te. Et Dominus Bonus det tibi Pacem. Amen. Nomini Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen, friends.